What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Make sure to like and sub and let's get into this. Uh, this should be a lesson to all of us. Do not get complacent, no matter how far ahead you think we are. That should go for politics right now, and that should certainly go for the pop culture war. Obviously, we have seen every single project that Sweet Baby Inc., to varying degrees, but mostly in the negative, be absolutely horrible uh, for anything they've had connected to. Almost all the games they've had uh, connection with have failed or undersold. Alan Wake 2 has still not made back its uh, budget. Spider-Man 2 sold half 11 million units instead of the 22 millions of the first one. And God of War Ragnarok was just like, I guess that's maybe their one success, except if you dig a little deeper into that, the uh compared to the first game the sales are a little bit lower and also the word of mouth around it is a little bit more contentious of some of the elements but that's a long way to say sweet baby inc has done nothing and of the obvious suicide squad killed the justice league sweet baby inc has done nothing to prove that boy oh boy are they worth investing in and yet unfortunately that is what we have going on right now where sweet baby inc has partnered with the powell group to push its the message, message. And make games for... For modern gaming audience. Yes. So here we go. Uh, the Powell Group has announced its partner with Sweet Baby Inc. And uh, let's see. They actually have, you think, uh, Master of uh, TDS uh, for this. Go check out uh, the Gothic uh, Therapy channel. They're not just partnering with Sweet Baby Inc. They're going to help Sweet Baby Inc. reach a wider market and be able to appeal to more studios, more gamers, more companies under a name that is more trusted in the industry. In other words, just like DEI uh, requirements to court the ESG money, ESG is environmental social governance, and many of these woke investment firms who use your money, use your money to invest it, they think they do not follow their fiduciary responsibility. They use your money to invest in ideology, basically, and companies and things like Sweet Bank that push ideology. Now, a lot of that's dried up because of the aforementioned failures, right? And people have started to catch on, but it's coming back in something Hayden Wayne loves to talk about. What's today's secret word? <laughs> And that is more or less exactly what this is. The same people, the same ideas coming back at you with more power, but this time a little bit quieter, a little bit sneakier, a different name. Uh, so here is their announcement. It says, we believe you need diverse voices to solve diverse problems. I'd rather have diverse thinking uh, people much more important is diversity of uh, thought. Uh, together with our partners at Sweet Baby Inc., we provide sensitivity and authenticity, consulting at every stage of development. We connect you to an inclusive and knowledgeable team of consultants to bring your story to life. Our approach leads with the creation of joyful and authentic experiences. We seek to be additive, not just corrective. Yes, they don't just cross uh, T's and dot I's, they add. They narrative right. They don't just threaten you about what could be misconstrued about your game. They add to it. So here's their goals. Reach a bigger audience. Dear God, help us. We believe that representation is key to connecting. Uh, good story and characters and gameplay is what's key to connecting all players and audiences, not representation. Uh, appeal to a wider reach of players with more inclusive storytelling. Mm -hmm. New Because this has worked out so well for the past four years. New uh, Tell new It's been going on longer than that, clearly, but the last four years is the hyperdrive of it. New uh, Tell new stories. We tackle narrative and character in any form, keeping emotional resonance and authenticity authenticity at the heart of our work pressing x to doubt and represent empathetically we seek to spark joy in marginalized players elevate real human experiences and foster empathy within your game and what this tactic all amounts to is we're going to target the least of your audience the ones that play the games the least and spend the least amount of money and then we get these results basically uh, that's a lot of damage how about a little more uh, and if you go uh, further on into the Powell Group's company, they are full of all the things we see in all of the companies from Activision to our, you know, CD Projekt Red and so on and so forth. EA, they all have, of course, their D, E, and I initiatives and their multicolored blocks. You get what the idea is. Um, and there we go. This is super damaging because as you as a point is out, uh, is pointed out here, the Powell Group publishes a yearly investor list, including over 800 investors and 500 publishers. And that is all now people who will be 
within arm's length, so to speak, of Kim Belair and her narrative design ideas and all of Sweet Baby Inc. that literally has gone on record saying that they want to burn the video game industry to the ground. Push. Yeah. Anyway, you let me know what you think about all of this. I don't think this is good. You let me know. Make sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Well, bye.